Samsung unveiled its new lineup of tech devices, and joining us now to talk about them is CNET senior reporter Shara Tipkin. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Okay, so what did Samsung launch? Yeah, so what we've got is three new phones. They're part of Samsung's A-series. So this is kind of, it's more uh, mid-range price devices. These aren't the flashy flagships that we've seen with the Galaxy S21 or its notes or its foldables, but these are kind of, um, you know, lower price devices that still have pretty high end specs. Okay, so the important question, what do these devices cost? We don't have U.S. pricing quite yet, uh, but Samsung said that its uh, A52 phone is going to start at about 350 euros. That's around 415 U.S. dollars. Uh, you know, Samsung will talk about U.S. pricing and availability later. Carriers always like to have their own announcements about what devices they're going to have. Um, but, you know, basically these phones cost about half what the Galaxy S21 costs. Well, we generally see Samsung have big events for its high-end phones. So why did Samsung hold a big event for these mid-tier devices? Yeah, I mean, what's happening is that uh, lower price devices are incredibly popular. Last year, three out of every four phones Samsung shipped across the globe came from its A-series. Um, and then in the United States, it was about a quarter of all phones from Samsung came from this line. Um, it's more popular than its Galaxy S line, its Note line, and its very other various other high-end phones. So, um, you know, these lower price devices are extremely popular. And talk more about the phones. What are some of the standout features? Yeah, so there's three models. There's the A52, A52G, and the A72. Uh, the A52G has 5G. The other two are 4G, at least initially. Um, they have four cameras on the back, which is kind of a big deal. Uh, the only device from the Galaxy S21 line that had that was the Ultra, so the most expensive version. Um, they also have, you know, big displays, uh, big batteries. Samsung says these should have two days battery life, which is kind of a big deal. Uh, so basically it has all of the sort of higher end specs that people are really looking for. And when people are trying to decide what sort of devices to buy, they're looking at the camera, the battery, the screen size. Um, and so with these, the A-series offers all of that for consumers. Yeah, two-day battery life, that's pretty good, not too bad. All right, Shara Tipkin, thanks so much. Thanks for having me.